Hi everyone, I've got a Dollar Tree movie haul. Um, yesterday, our winner of the uh, hashtag two year been here giveaway, Sally, and you pronounce her last name Cookie, and uh, she contacted me by email and uh, she had watched my little haul earlier uh, of Dollar Tree where we got a, a movie. And I guess I said something about, you know, we they'd be gone. We'd like to have some get some more of them, which we would have been able to, I think, Tuesday or something like that. But um, uh, she said she she wanted me to, to have that and to go and buy me some movies with it. And uh, that was her wishes, you know, and I told her, well, OK, I, you know, it's so sweet of her. I didn't wasn't expecting that at all, you know, and it just very generous and, and kind of her. So we went back last night because they, get, like I said, they get gone really quick. And they had like six boxes of them in there, pretty good sized boxes. Um, about like, yay, and you know, pretty, pretty big. So we went through, we didn't go through all of them. It would have taken a while, but we were able to get nine movies. Um, some of these I'll do, I don't know if I'll do reviews on all of them. Uh, but some of them I'm sure I will. Uh, the first one here, I also have some things from Grocery Outlet. We just went down there. I actually went to get hamburger buns. They didn't even have any. <laughs> That's the way it goes. Uh, I don't know why. Why would you not have hamburger buns in a grocery store? Uh, anyway, the first one we got is a Blu-ray, and our PlayStation is what we played on, uh, PlayStation 4, and you can use Blu-ray or regular ones on it. First one is the classic Road Warrior with Mel Gibson. Um, I've watched that a bunch of times, but it's one of those movies I can watch however many times. Uh, I got this one, um, Krampus, the Christmas Devil. I guess it's a scary movie. Um, I don't. I'm not really too uh, much into the scary movies anymore that much. But they love them, you know, and so that's that's fine. But that's what this one looks. Sorry about the glare. That's why I do turn the lights down on my uh, movie reviews. Can't even hardly see that. I don't, I guess I could turn the upper light off. I don't know if it would be too dark in here or not. Let me try. Hi, kitty. She's over here eating. Let me see if it's too dark. Just show them. I can turn it back on in a minute if it says it. Let's see. Uh, a little bit better. This one's called Blackwood. You can't outrun fate. And so anyway, let me see. Where's my glasses? Everybody knows what Road Warrior is, I'm sure. And this one is when Krampus, the Christmas devil, visits a small town to punish all of the naughty children, it's up to one police officer to hunt him down before more kids end up kidnapped or murdered by the evil monster. I don't think there's really anybody I know in here either. Uh, it doesn't say. Okay, and this one, Blackwood, you can't outrun fate. Um, this is Ed Stoppard. Stars in the spine-tingling thriller where terrifying visions spiral into a deep obsession that plagues college professor Ben Marshall. Having recently recovered from an emotional breakdown, Ben relocates his family to the peaceful countryside of the Blackwood Estate where, upon arrival, he is plagued by visions of a murder he, he is convinced took place in his new home. So it sounds like a kind of like a thriller. And uh, these are funny, and Logan likes them too. We got this for Logan, by the way. Uh, but he, I, I've watched all of these, all of these shows. Like I think one's called Friday, something like that. The whole series of shows, they're all really funny and good, good movies. So we got the Barber Shop, the Next Cut, or Barber Shop, the Next Cut. It's got Ice Cube and Cedric the Entertainer in it. And it's got a sticker over the what it tells it about the movie. So can't read that one. And this one is called Lake Fear. Lake Fear. 
It says, Sam and Jason, a young couple on vacation, decide to swim in a pond they find at the end of a freshly cut path. While swimming, Jason is bitten by a gruesome le leech-like organism. When he attempts to remove the creature, part of it rips off and crawls inside his leg. Ooh, probably goes downhill from there. <laughs> and this one, um, there's been several of these movies. Uh, I'm not for sure if this is one we may have seen. It's called Lake Placid Legacy. There's quite a few. They're about big alligators. When a group of young explorers ventures into a mysterious lake, they discover an island harboring an abandoned lab facility with a horrific legacy. I didn't read all of it, but you can see what kind of movie that is. Scary, kind of. And I like westerns, so I got this one called Billy the Kid Showdown in Lincoln City. I like, I like movies, uh, westerns. And it says, Billy the Kid, the most iconic outlaw of the Old West, has become a very skilled gunslinger, but he's developed one major weakness, arrogance. Billy is repeatedly confronted with his own mortality. And then this one is called Luna. Luna. Uh, well, I got a bunch of things in parentheses in this. Uh, they're still struggling from a storm of grief following the death of their baby. They visit an old friend. Uh, Kitty, stop. She's playing with the bag. Uh, in an isolated house by the sea, Dean tries but fails to control his drinking. Freya worries about the age difference between her and Dean. Something, something, something. Okay, it just... I don't know, it's more of a drama, I think, than actually scary, sounds like. And Logan loves this show. Uh, it's Ghost Hunters. This is Season 9, Part 1. He watches these shows. And that's pretty good, a dollar for a season... Well, it says part one, so I don't know how many. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Looks like fourteen of them in here, so that's a pretty good deal. Now let me turn the light back on. All right. Okay, we got a few things, like I said, down here at Grocery Outlet. I don't see these have got to be good. This is a uh, bake shop favorites 15 count cream cheese croissants. Look at that. Oh, let's see there. They're bound to be good. They were a uh, dollar ninety nine. That's not bad at all. And we're having that. Uh, Pulled chicken, Lloyd's, I think it's called, pulled chicken barbecue tonight. And we thought we'd have some coleslaw with it. We got a little bit of coleslaw dressing. It'd be enough for, to make for tonight. It won't be enough for this whole bag, though, but I don't know. I didn't want to have to buy any dressing. I don't think they had any coleslaw dressing down there anyway. Uh, it was $1.59 Dole Classic Coleslaw, just green cabbage and shredded carrots. I kind of like the one with the little... Uh, purple in it too, but all taste the same pretty much. Uh, Joy got her a uh, energy drink. They're only 89 cents down there. Um, she's craving some bacon for breakfast tomorrow. And the only kind they had was this, but this is actually it's pretty good bacon. Jamestown brand, and it's a full pound. I like that for two for 3.29. Uh, usually they have some pretty cheap down there, but I didn't see this only one we saw. And I think, let me see if Smithfield makes this. Smithfield, Virginia. I believe, I believe this is Smithfield bacon. It's probably their just cheaper package. 
they're more of, it says value, it says irregular slices, but you can't really, uh, I think she pulled one of these out. It doesn't look bad. I don't see that it's irregular, irregular slices either, but they sell this one cheaper than Smithfield is. So, that's it. I didn't, didn't get a whole lot. Don't have, not able to right now, but uh, we don't really need anything that much either. I really just wanted some hamburger buns, but instead we're going to make it with a, uh, where did I put them? Here we go. We're going to put the, the barbecue or the pulled chicken. It's in a mustard salt barbecue sauce, I think. I don't know if I've ever tried one like that. But we're just going to take these we got from Aldi. They're only $1.19 at Aldi, y'all. Uh, and make little, like, sliders with the barbecue and put some slaw on it and stuff. Or maybe the slaw on the side. I don't know yet. But I um, hope y'all enjoyed this little... Dollar Tree slash Grocery Outlet Hall. Please press that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Uh, watch later on this evening. I'll be doing and Ask My Tablet. So I'll see you then, everybody. God bless.